Well, you're looking at a Diamondback Tactical Predator armor carrier. It's their uh, rapid ballistic vest. This one's in multicam. You can see it's kind of designed to hold uh, soft armor bulks cut in it and a hard armor plate in a separate pouch up here. Uh, if you look at kind of the way the shoulder straps are set up, there's a tiny little bit of padding in the area that goes kind of underneath of it here. Uh, the Velcro adjustable shoulder straps. Kind of, you can leave one a little loose, kind of easy to get into, and then just pull that down and Velcro it. Uh, nice little pull tabs here to uh, aid in grabbing that and cinching it down if you need it really tight. <coughs> Velcro panel across the top, kind of handy if you have to put a patch there to identify who you are, or you just want to put a cool morale patch on there or a name tape or something like that. Uh, Pals webbing across here in kind of a Eh, almost like a coyote brown kind of color. Kind of blends with the multicam pretty well. This one has a cummerbund that comes around. Zips in the middle here and then has these two tabs that come across and snap. So that if you have a whole bunch of mag pouches on here and a lot of weight, this kind of aids in preventing it from slipping down. Plus it's Velcro backed. So you have this whole like six inch channel of Velcro holding against it also. Open it, you just undo these snaps, <coughs> undo the zipper, and then the cummerbund. Velcro's off of both sides there, exposing that whole big Velcro panel. Uh, you can see even when it wraps around here, the PALS webbing continues. Even though it's kind of covered with a cummerbund, doesn't do you a whole lot of good. But you don't need to run the cummerbund, right? Oh, uh, on this model you would. You could kind of come back, these kind of Velcro on the side, but the cummerbund gives you that additional bit of tension and holds the front and the back panels together so they overlap and provide ballistic protection. And then it gives you a spot up here to attach magazine pouches and stuff. These, flip it open to the interior here. <laughs> There's some Velcro up here. And I think they probably just put that there to make it a little bit softer where it's kind of rubbing on you there. Uh, a mesh interior panel. You can see the bulk cut soft armor on the inside there. This one has uh, an internal cummerbund. This one kind of tucks the rear tight to you. When you put it on your body, you pull these and they kind of wrap around your sides. And then you pull this tight, Velcro it to it. And then that kind of holds the rear in place while you flip the front down, tuck the sides, and then you can pull the cummerbund around and Velcro it up there. On the back side here, heavy duty grab handle down here, reinforced. Doesn't go all the way down and around like some of the Eagle stuff does, but looks like the stitching's pretty decent and it's reinforced pretty well. I'm sure you could grab that and drag somebody back out of the way if you had to. This rear section here, is velcroed to cover the adjustment straps for the cummerbund. Look at the cummerbund here. All these little kind of elastic straps run under this panel and then they buckle into here and you can adjust them depending on how small or how large you need the cummerbund to adjust to. Velcro line there and then once you put that back over it gives you a full area of PALS webbing to attach all, any kind of a med kit. Some guys run them back here so their buddy can get access to them. If you run a hydration uh, pouch back there with a bladder in it, it gives you real estate to attach that to. Um, With this open to access the armor, this whole seam around here is Velcro, kind of in the middle section here. And you pull that Velcro section open and then you can get access to the soft armor and getting it in there, you just kind of tuck it in and then these little wings kind of stick over to the side and you work them in there. With that out of the way, you can see there's an external a little separate pouch that's in there that kind of cool it's even multi-cam inside the carrier and then you open this up and then you can get access in there to your rifle plate and 
this is a medium, so it's got a medium uh, 10 by 12 rifle plate and a medium set of bulks armor that goes in there. And bulks is the cut that comes down and then wings yeah, bulks like this. Is, there's two different cuts. There's bulks and there's NIJ. NIJ is more of what law enforcement wears. It's more comfortable. It's a little bit more cut out for the neck. The edges are rounded. Bulks cut, they're more squared off, so it gives you a lot more side coverage. And then this coverage comes up and it's just barely low cut, so it gives you a little bit more protection up high around the throat area. We did a video a while back comparing the two different cuts. Mm -hmm. And there's small little, uh, like pals webbing attachments on the inside of the front. And that's if you're wearing additional armor, if you're wearing like a groin protector or something, the, it would sit here and then the straps would come in and kind of buckle through there. And we just happen to have a woodland groin protector here. Uh, it would kind of attach in this area in here. These straps would kind of wrap through there, reattach to themselves would hang that down in front there. This has a, like I think a 3A soft armor in it for ballistic protection there against additional shrapnel. And it's not too bad once you kind of get used to it and you velcro those up then you can of adjust that and get the zipper down and then even if these are off a little bit there's a little bit of play in the straps left or right you can just kind of work it down in there and snap it to help support it only drawback to something like this is if you want to center pouches up on here or something it doesn't give you that option uh, there are some other models that'll have a flap here that'll open this stuff will velcro in and then the flap will come down over the top of it and then give you pals webbing across the front that's the Diamondback Tactical 